Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you're having a great day. It's that time of the month again for me to do my monthly favorites. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first one I'm going to talk about is a shampoo and it's from Clear Scalp and Hair Therapy. Um, this is just the shampoo and I'm the worst person when it comes to hair care besides just washing and drying it, which I just air dry my hair. I don't put any hot tools to it. I don't put any styling products. Like I just strictly wash it, air dry it, and I'm done for the day. And um, I've just been seeing a big difference with my hair after using this product for the past month and this was actually mentioned in somebody's hit and misses video and they had great reviews for it and I figured you know what I definitely want to try it I actually had a coupon to, for a shampoo so uh, that, def that definitely helped with me purchasing this and I in the winter time I do have dry scalp so I try to get shampoos that target those and trying to help hydrate my hair, my scalp, and this has been helping a lot. I've been feeling it. I feel a difference in my scalp. It's not as dry and it's not as like rough. And at the same time, I feel like my roots are getting stronger with my hair because I don't have as much fallout when I wash my hair and even when I brush my hair. It's specifically formulated to nourish scalp deeply, creating the right foundation for strong, beautiful hair, which I've been definitely seeing. Um, in my hair. So I'm really excited that I found this and I've been loving this this past month. I don't have the conditioner even though I plan on purchasing it because I just finished my last conditioner um, but lately I've been using leave-in conditioners. I had a sample um, in my Sephora order uh, last month and I'm really intrigued by it. I've never used leave-in leave -in conditioners before and I picked up more samples so hopefully I can try those out and see if I see a difference in my hair or if not just continue using the shampoo and the conditioner that I will purchase soon. So another item that I've been loving is this perfume and it's Marc Jacobs Daisy. Now I was with a girlfriend a while ago and I was smelling something that was really nice and florally and I was like... <laughs> what are you wearing? And she was wearing Marc Jacobs. So when I got my Ulta like rewards points, um, I definitely used it to purchase this perfume and I've been loving it this entire like winter season. And I felt it was just appropriate to mention it for this month into the new year. And I haven't used a lot of it, but I mean, this is a really big amount. I think this is one point not even one, no, it's 2.5 fluid ounces. And I use this every day. Um, Whenever I get out of the shower, I spritz the perfume behind my knees, up in my chest, into my hair. And I don't like amber fragrances. I don't like citrus. I don't like fruity. I like floral. But within floral, I'm really picky with what, with like what I like there too. So this is just perfect for what I've been wearing. It's not too strong. It's not too like I don't know, girly. I don't know. I just been loving this and. Mm. Yeah, so that's all I can say. I just really love it. I am really big when it comes to acne spot treatments. I always have something in my bathroom cabinet and I always apply it um, at nighttime and sometimes in the morning. Depends on like how I feel. But the two that I've been loving lately, or at least for this month, is from Neutrogena. It's the Rapid Clear 2-in-1 Fight and Fade Gel. It comes in this orange tube. It has no scent to it. It has 2% salicylic, salicylic acid and it really helps with fading your scars. Um, I've been using this all month and I've been seeing a difference. It's not obviously like a drastic change, but I do see that it is fading quickly. And another product that I've been liking or loving has been the Mario Badescu uh, Drying Lotion. Now I actually purchased this a while ago and this really helps when you have a pimple that has formed and or a pimple that has popped. You just apply this on that pimple and the mousse the next day the pimple is gone. You apply this at nighttime and this is what it looks like. It's this milky yellow, it's really ugly looking liquid on top and this part here, the bottom, this pink powder is an actual um, product that will help um, your pimple get smaller and at the same time like they won't leave any scarring and it has the really, it has like a really strong scent which really sucks about this product but I mean it really works miracles. I've had I was breaking out earlier this month around my hairline and like you can't see anything anymore and last night a pimple popped right here of the t of my temple and you can't really think that's it. So it's not, it's really not that bad at all. Um, last night I applied this and then this morning I applied this and this is what I, uh, that's what I get. So another product I've been loving from my favorite store of the month, um, Lush. 
It's the Fair Trade Foot Lotion, and I got this in my Happy Feet kit um, that I've used in the past, and I think I mentioned in another um, favorites video. But pretty much this lotion is to help um, relieve aching feet and soften hard skin. I'm using this every day, especially when I get out of the shower. I apply like so much on my feet because this scent is so amazing. It's um, cocoa butter and spearmint, and I've just been loving this. So I'm almost done with this. That's probably a good like three uses if I use it in the morning and in the evening. And I've been loving this so much that I got the mama size. Yay! This is this is like ridiculous size. Look at that. Um, I mentioned this in last month's favorites, and I'm going to mention it again because I've been using this every day now. It's my Mary Kay Time Wise Matte Wear Liquid Foundation in the shade Beige Eight. It's very light on the skin. It gives medium to full coverage. And since this is matte wear, like, I really don't get much. I don't feel oily throughout the day. Um, I'll get shine probably around, like, six, six hours into the day. Um, but, like I said, this is very light. And I use my, I used to use my fingers. I probably, I still do use my fingers when applying it around my face. Um, I also use a foundation brush, but lately I've been using my buffing brush from Real Techniques. So I dot the foundation all over my face and just in circular motions starting in the center of my face, just circle motions going outwards. And um, it just gives a nice coverage. Another item that I've been loving is my bronzer from NARS in the shade Casino. Now I've always, I'm always interchanging between this and my MAC Blunt blush, um, but I, I've just been gravitating to this more so than I have been with MAC. I do like the fact that this has some like gold in it. It's very subtle gold and it just helps give that like glowy look especially in this dreary winter days. And I'm actually wearing this right now just bronzer. Winter, I've been noticing my face has been getting really dry quickly and it gets dry like right in between my eyebrows and around my mouth. And it's really irritating after like putting moisturizer and applying my makeup all of a sudden I get like little flakes around my mouth. So, I've been applying this primer um, from Hourglass. It's the number 28 Primer Serum. This is hydrating and anti-aging, and this is quite pricey. But for what it's worth, I've been seeing a big difference in my face in the fact that it's not as dry anymore, and it just feels smoother, and when applying makeup, it just looks flawless. Now, like I said, this is really pricey. When I purchased this, this is when Hourglass just... Um, hit the shelves at Sephora so they didn't have any like smaller sizes which now they do. Um, I do also have the other primer, the Mineral Veil, but I have the small size. But this one, I mean this is amazing. It's very silky and smooth and I can, I mix it with my moisturizer in the morning and also in the evening. Now um, this is richly concentrated, intensely hydrating and dual purpose oil blend serum that treats your skin as it prepares it for makeup. Now the reason why it has the number 28 is because it's it refers to the formula's key ingredients including 14 essential oils, 10 lipid rich plant oils, and 4 vitamins. So the next item I've been loving this month is the Lancome Hypnosis Star Mascara and this is the um, sample size that I got um, during a recent purchase from Sephora. and I don't know, I've never really like loved Lancome products before. Even in the past when my mom would buy Lancome um, the gift sets and she would send them off to her relatives in the Philippines, sometimes she would get duplicates and she would save them for me and I just never really liked it. Even as a kid, like I just didn't like it. I just didn't like Lancome. But surprisingly, this um, mascara is starting to change my mind with it. I really like the brush is very interesting. It looks like a little tree. Well, at least that's what I think of it. Um, and I'm actually wearing the mascara right now. And it really helps, um, I think, volumize my, my lashes. Um, since my lashes are, like, straight. And I think, like, a good solid coat or even two will definitely get the job done with this mascara. So the last item for my monthly favorites is a lipstick which I'm wearing right now and if you can tell or if you can't tell this is Max Rebel everybody's favorite on YouTube everybody and their mom's favorite um, lipstick uh, definitely the favorite lipstick for the season and I don't know what else to say about this lipstick at all this is just a perfect purple red berry lipstick 
and I top this or I line my lips with Max uh, Beat. This, these two items together, just like top notch berry lip for the season. So my favorites for the month of January. It's already the end of January. I'm excited to see what February favorites will look will contain. Um, so yeah, thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!